Hi guys, Graham here and welcome to Traditional Flash. Um, today I wanted to do a video on just drawing some swallows. I never usually actually show people how to draw stuff, it's just the painting phase, but um, I wanted to, yeah, just kind of show people how to draw as well. And swallows are pretty easy, so I thought it'd be a nice place to start. Um, so when I'm drawing a sheet of flash, what I'll do is I'll start off with um, a sort of study of whatever I'm doing. So um, here's some swallows that I drew up for a sheet that I'm going to be doing in my next video. It's just rough sketches of kind of shapes and um, just to get an idea of you know what I'm doing. So to get those shapes, what I did is the best way to start is just draw a kind of this is what going to be for the head. You want to get a shape kind of like a wonky heart. So you draw the sort of head shape, bring it up here and round to the back like that. It doesn't have to be too neat. You want to bring this end down a bit more. So this would be kind of like the center of the heart. And like I say, you want to make it really wonky. So bring it off kind of like this and just kind of, that's your kind of rough body shape. And then once you've got that, you can put the eye quite far towards the front beak somewhere, it doesn't really matter where you put the beak, you can put it high up and um, have the have it look like it's facing up a bit, but then bring the kind of curve of the eye around. This is just what I do, you don't have to have this curve in it, but it's quite a traditional way of doing it, it's how I draw my swallows. So that's your kind of basic um, body and head shape. Now with the wings, there's a couple of things you can do, if you want to have them coming up above, both of the wings coming up then uh, take this line and just bring a line up like this and that starts off the near side wing and then maybe just bring it up like this and that's a kind of wing shape maybe a little bit longer but you can play about with that and then the next wing you can either bring it out of here or you can bring it out of here this one I think I'll bring it out of here um, or if you wanted to have the wing coming down. Just draw another one quickly. If you wanted to have the wing coming down, then you can bring this line and just do this with it. So it kind of has another little bump in it, like that. Bring it around like this, and your wing is then going down. So it's a pretty, um, pretty simple way of drawing swallows and uh, what I, what also what I do is with the tail is what I'll do is I'll bring a line coming across the body like this from the wing so it's connecting up to the wing um, so if on this one it kind of look more like that. So you've got a little bit of the um, underbelly sort of shown through here. This just gives you an idea of where to put the tail better. So and then I'll just bring the tail, kind of, I like to have them kind of quite angular pointing out bring it back in like this and um, same on this one let's put a wing on him as well just to give you a better idea of what he would look like when he's done and, um, and then when I'm shading it I'll probably just join the body up with the tail and then I'll know where this little bit of underbody is to colour, well I usually colour the underbelly red so I'll cover that bit in red there and um, I'll need to cut off here and continue it here if you see what I mean. So yeah, that's just a pretty simple easy way of drawing swallows. So you've got, you know, obviously your heart shape you draw first and you bring the wing off whichever way you want. I mean they take a little bit of practice but once you get used to them they're really easy to draw. So um, like I say, what I do is I just get a sheet of those and um, I'll pick my favourite ones. To be honest I'll probably do pretty much all of these because I wanted um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, seven. I wanted seven on the sheet, so I'll probably use all of these. Um, tried to draw them all a similar size, just played about with different wing positions. Um, and yeah, what I'll do next is I'll just get another sheet, just lay it on top, and uh, trace them through a bit neater. I mean, you don't. I, I usually actually draw straight onto the um, watercolor paper, I don't usually bother. Um, double tracing them like this but I'm just you know to show you how I do it and then when I come in with a pen I can um, refine them even more maybe add something like maybe a little flower in it so um, 
coming out of the beak and you know add little bits to them like that um, and then yeah draw it out, go over it with a pen get it proper neat oh, add these little bits on the wings here as well I don't know how you can see that but you know just a little just to break up the shading um, I'll show you why that is when I do the shading video but yeah that's a simple way of drawing swallows um, you know you can follow along with this video as long as you get the basic shape right in the first place the rest of it's pretty easy so I uh, hope that helps and um, if you want to see some more of these give me some suggestions of things you want to know how to draw and I'll kind of try and give you a broken down simplified way of drawing them um, I'll probably do one of these on roses as well because there's lots of different ways of drawing old school roses and I'll kind of go over those uh, simple ways how to draw them so uh, thanks for watching guys and don't forget to like and subscribe and um, comment with any yeah like I say suggestions or things you want to know how to draw um, and I'll be happy to do them. I do listen to my requests and I always reply to all of my comments. So just get in touch if there's anything you want to know. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys soon.